Hey guys, it is Kayla Waller with Waller Adventures and today we are trying out our new gear top cover with Sand Lake poles. So stick around, check it out. All right, so we got the gear top cover. I got it off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in this. And I also got the sand-like poles. They are like tent poles and you put them together and they hold the tarp up. <laughs> basically, they'll hold up any tarp. But the, the gear top is basically a tarp for camping like you can set it up any way you want to. You can set it up in like the V shape. You can set up in how we're going to set up today, kind of like an L shape. Or um, while you're camping in your hammock, you can put it over a hammock like this and you can raise it up. Or you can just have it as a cover, like if you want to put it over um, your uh, picnic table, anything like that. But the reason why I have this is because I am doing a review on my beach tent. If you want to see that video, I'll put a link up to it at the top. But my beach tent does not have a rain cover over it so i had to buy this also if you're interested in buying this gear top this uh yeah gear top cover it comes with spikes and it comes with the rope but it does not come with the poles that actually hold it up to make it into like the v shape or like how we're doing it in the l shape today so that's why i had to get these and they come in twos so i bought two of them so that way, if I want to do anything special with them. But, let's get started. All right, so you can see the beach tent sitting there. Um, I have everything in it. I have the front closed off. So that way, while I'm putting this uh, cover up on top of it right here, I won't get anything in the tent. There's already some sand in there from when we took it to the beach. But, we're getting ready to set up the, uh, the cover for it. So here's all the uh, the spikes that come with it. It was rolled up inside. So one side is like really like slick and tacky and the other side's really slicker and it's not tacky. So I'm going to put that on the top. This thing is huge. Did not expect it to be this big. <laughs> Alright, so you can see how big it is. I don't have it laid out like all the way, but you can see how big it is. And uh, like I was trying to say earlier is this top is really slick. It's like the top of a tent and then the bottom is kind of like it's a slick sticky feeling. So we're putting that one at the bottom. But you can see it's got holes on it and that's where we want to put the poles. <laughs> holes and poles. I'm going to put one on this in the front. And then I'm going to try to find somewhere in the middle. I think probably, probably right here. I'll probably put the next poles. And then just this half will go over the tent. And it will, um, I'll put it down behind it. So that way if it does rain, it will be like this and the rain will just swoop down and cover the back of the tent. Alright, so here are our poles. They look like this. Alright. Open the, the plastic bag. Yeah, so they come separate so you can make it however size you want 
you see the top that's what goes through the hole of your tarp or the um this cover and you just put it on like that real simple so i'm gonna see how tall i can make it Let's see here's the bottom it's got the thing on it all right so it's taller than me i'm five six and this is taller than me all right this is gonna be a challenge <laughs> So I thought that they would have like stakes on here, but it's not stakes. So I'm trying to figure out how I can put four of them at the same time without them falling over. So this is going to be interesting and fun to watch. All right, so I got all four of the poles made. Um, I think what I want to do is take this back part and pull it over the tent and go ahead and put it in the ground. And then I'll put the middle ones in and then I'll put these in. So that way I kind of already know how like how far out to put it and that way when I put the poles up I can kind of have them tilted like this until I can get them in the ground so that way maybe they won't fall over so we'll see how that works <laughs> All right, so I got it pulled over the tent and I've kind of got the back of it kind of loosely there until I can get the other sticks in place. Now that it's on the uh, on the tent, it doesn't look that big. All right, so I'll, I'll show you real quick. You stick it through the hole like so. You put the top on it like so. Then it sits here and it flows freely. <sighs> All right, let the comical bit commence. Looking all right. I had to move the uh, tent closer in the center. It's kind of crooked, but it's all right. So I advise to have two people to do this. This is a two person job. Good thing I had the chair <laughs> hold up one of the legs as you saw, but I'll, uh, I'll take you around and show you how it's set up. All right, so uh, as you can tell, one of those legs is crooked which it has to be crooked and I'll explain to you in a second. You see the top and you got your, your rope holding it down. I'm gonna have to fix that in a second. So you got same thing on this side and then the back. So you can see it's kind of like an L shape Oop, to the side. So it's like this, so anything on the top, rain, leaves, whatever, it would just slide off on the back and it will protect the tent so you can see how it does like this in the back as well i'm gonna have to tighten that down a little bit so my biggest issue with the tent was i didn't have another person helping me um the ground is soft i don't have any hard ground to put my my uh stakes in and when i'm tightening up the rope 
it the, the stakes just come out because the soil is so soft so i'm having to kind of finagle and that's why some of the poles are kind of crooked at a slant just to give me that extra um tightness because like i said i i there's no there's hardly any um hard dirt around my tent which sucks but i mean gotta do what you gotta do all right so i got this front pole a little straighter because uh that spike was in some soft dirt. Um, I'm just going to periodically go around and check and make sure the um, spikes are still in the ground. Because like I said, there's some soft dirt around here. But hey, I mean, it is what it is. I try to work around it like I did. I mean like this for instance, look at this. So that should be like kind of close to this or like, you know, kind of this way. Nope. It goes all the way back here in the back. Because everything around here, as you can see, I've dug up around, everything around here is soft. And it, <laughs> it was not holding. So I said, screw it. I just put it back here in the back. And just kind of counterweighted. Weighted everything. There is a little droop in the front. I mean, it, like I said, it is what it is. Um, I can't really do anything about it. Now, if I didn't have this concrete right here, because this is more like, this um, campsite is more for like an RV and tent. I probably have a little more options um maybe at like colt creek where i had that um that uh whatchamacallit the uh the gravel on the ground might have held it better but it is what it is and you can't do anything about it so i brought some lights like my lights that i string up in my um tent like i did at anastasia park i'm gonna string them up here so it gives me some uh light tonight All right, so I got them strung up around the top a little bit. I'm gonna have some uh, have a lantern in my tent. So we will see what they look like tonight when it gets a little darker. All right, so it is getting dark, and before it got too dark where you couldn't see anything because I've got the bare minimum lights over here. You see them shining up there. <laughs> I use those lights. Um, we went to Anastasia Park. I put them in the uh, kitchen tent. And I had them strung around on my um, bigger tent. So I'll let you see what it looks like in the dark. Well, semi-dark. <laughs> it looks really good, like you can see it. it gives you a little bit of light. <laughs> it's a cute little, uh, little setup going on. All right, so the canvas top has been up for about two hours now and it's still holding up. <laughs> I haven't had any issues. Um, I haven't had any issues with the, with the spikes pulling up. Um, like I said before, the ground is really soft, so the ground's not really holding the spikes in like it should, which is no one's fault. It's, it's just how it is. But um, the wind's blowing a little bit, and you can see it kind of swaying, but it's still holding up. Um, you can see the little lights around it. Looking good. Looking real good. It's holding that up nicely. You can see I might pull that, that side that slack a little bit. Also, um, this is perfect for this camping spot. Um, the reason why I bought it was because to keep the rain and the morning dew off my tent because the tent doesn't have a rain cover, like I've said before. But I'm um, just sitting here. It's keeping like the leaves that are falling off the trees off of me and my tent. Um, it's another little hidey hole type thing to get out of like the sun um to get out of like the wind if need be um i have thought about maybe getting another tent or or, or some more like um not heavy duty tarps but maybe some thinner tarps to put on the side as like a like to keep some wind off if you really wanted it to i don't know we'll just have to see how that goes but as of right now it's holding it really good and i'm right i'm really pleased with it um so we'll just, we'll see what it looks like in the morning. All right, so an update. It's raining. <laughs> um, the 
tarp is holding up nicely. Um, my tent is dry and that is the main purpose of this tarp canvas ordeal. Um, I'll show you what the weather's going to look like tonight. All right, so that's the weather tonight. As you can see, we're supposed to get some more rain. Um, light rain, nothing too heavy. So we'll see if the tarp keeps my tent dry. But so far it's doing pretty good and it's still staying. So I'll show you. Um, those lights are the uh, edges of my uh, tarp up there. But you can hear the rain pitter pattering on the the uh, canvas top. So um, I'm going to try and lay back down and go to sleep. But uh, yeah, since it started raining, um, I just wanted to give an update and uh, check and see how it was holding up on this first little bit of rain. So we will definitely for <laughs> for sure see you in the morning. All right, morning, y'all. Um, it is a beautiful morning. The sun's coming up around the trees. Um, we got some more rain last night, and the tarp above me did a really, really good job. I am thrilled with it. We'll, uh, we'll take a look around and see what it looks like. All righty. You can see it actually straightened itself out while I was hanging up here. <laughs> but it looks really good. Um, let me go around the truck so you can see the back of it. All right. Here's the back. I'm not sure I don't step on anything. So you can see uh, it, it rained last night, all the raindrops on it. But, um, but yeah, it did a really, really good job holding, uh, holding the rain off of the tent. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I am uh, surprised that these are still holding up. <laughs> but they're doing a good job. They're doing a really good job. The uh, only issue I had was um, when it started raining really hard last night, I popped my head out just to make sure everything was dry. And it was. But along the edge right here, it was a little damp. But I think it's because from where the water was dripping off and it was just lightly splashing up against the side. But the, uh, the lights around it worked really well because um, I did get up in the middle of the night to go pee and that helped me find my way back to the tent. <laughs> but, I mean, other than that, it did a great job. I do realize now that um, well, I couldn't get it straight because the uh, poles aren't lined up correctly. They're not lined up with each other. <laughs> but, I mean, like I said, it's my first time putting it up. Um, normally, when I get new equipment, I put it up in the yard first. To double check it before I go camping I did not have time to do that because <laughs> I literally just got it and got the poles and was like oh we're going camping like in two days <laughs> but um but yeah it did a good job even like when it was raining and um I stuck my head out just being under it kept me dry I mean like here I'll show you I mean like I got a lot of room under here to keep me uh, to keep me uh, dry when it rains or you know when stuff's flying or whatever. But yeah, it did it did a, it did an excellent job. All right, so I'm gonna go eat, then um, we'll take everything apart. All right, guys, so the tent's gone. <laughs> So I am getting ready to take down the tarp. Um, like I said, it did a great job keeping the leaves off the, uh, the tent, the rain off the tent last night. So we're going to um, take it down. All right, so before I take it down, um, this slant thing right here worked really well with my tent being under there. It kept the water rolling off and it rolled it toward the back behind the tent. And it worked, it worked really, really well. Um, yeah, if I go camping again in that tent, which I probably will, I'm, I'm gonna have it set up like this again. This this setup worked really well. Take this tank out.
So there is some uh, rain still on top of it. So when I get home, I'm gonna have to lay it out and let the sun dry it out. But for now, I can just pack it up, and put it back in the bag, in the in the bag. So while I have this in my hand, I'm gonna do a review with this real quick. I love how it is at the top. It just comes off and you fit the tarp through it and you close it. And it's got all that room to move, which is nice. The only thing I hate about it is this. How the bottom is just a bumper. I'm going to try and see if I can either take it off or next time I use this tarp with these, I'm going to dig a hole and put them in the hole and so that way it keeps them more sturdy. Because while the uh, tarp was up, these kept wanting to sway back and forth and I kind of want them more steady. But um, it shouldn't be an issue to do that. But yeah. So, I give these about 3 out of 5 stars. But, it is what it is. to the table. Alright. So these were in it. Like so. I think it might it might have been It's still wet so when I get home I'm gonna have to roll it out again. was not that bad. I have to put it right back in. Heck yeah. Nice. It's not in there perfect, but it's back in there. <laughs> Alright, so with these, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got to remember each one has six. <laughs> so when I get home, I can them together but yeah these are uh, these are simple they just pop off and on there's two a bag and like I said before the um, the tarp does not come with uh, with these already you have to buy these separately all right guys, so um, I reviewed the, the poles already. They are sand-like poles. I'll put a link in the description of where I got them from. I got them on Amazon. Um, the gear top, boy did it come in handy last night. It rained last night. Um, it protected my tent really well. And how I had it set up, like I said, the rain just slipped off, off to the back. Um, I bet if I had it as just a tarp, it would probably, you know, it probably would have worked too, and then the rain would have probably just dripped off of it. But um, I like how it was set up like in an L shape, so that way just the water would just run off the back. Um, but you can set up any way you want to. Like I said, you can do the V, the triangle shape, um, just a flat cover, 
the little L shape that I did. Um, it covers hammocks, things like that. Um, I saw in the reviews that it will cover a six to eight person tent, but you can see it covered my, my little tent perfectly. Um, yeah, the rain last night, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't like a heavy downpour, but it, it did its job. Didn't have any leaks, kept me dry in the tent, kept the tent dry. So um, I highly recommend this gear top. It is awesome, it's a lifesaver. <laughs> kept, kept everything dry, like I said. And like I said, with the sand-like legs, um, the poles, I gave them a three out of five. I wish they had a, um, a stake at the bottom so I could put it in the ground and keep it more steady instead of just that little bumper thing. But um, next time I use the uh, cover, I will probably dig a little hole and put the legs in the hole to keep it more secure. And uh, we'll see how it goes then. I'll give it, I'll give it another chance. But uh, it did its job. It kept, kept the uh, tarp up. So that's all that mattered. All right, guys. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you are, we greatly appreciate it. If you're not, hit that subscribe button. It will help our channel grow. We're also on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And in the description below, there's a link to our merch shop where you can get some cool Wild Adventures merch like this sweatshirt that I'm wearing today. So thanks for watching. See you soon. Hey guys, it's me again. If you want to subscribe to your channel, click over here. If you want to check out some more videos, click down there. If you want to check out our cool merch shop, go to the description below and click the link. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.